Hey, this is John Owens with Frame Voyager. I've received a lot of um, questions about how I build my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera kit. And I uh, thought I'd do a quick tutorial and show you kind of how I do it. Let's go. So I've been doing a lot of tutorials on just the ins and outs of this camera, the hardware, the menu system, the um, and all the different features it has and how it all works in there. So be sure to check out my channel and see the rest of the videos on this. But um, let's get going on uh, putting this cage together. So I um, found after doing some research that I really liked this um, small rig um, cage for the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K, and this is a 4K camera. I travel a lot, I um, shoot a lot of stuff like run and gun, um, so I like to have lighter equipment, things that are a little bit easier to A, put together and don't pack as much weight on. Um, um, so one thing I love about these small rig um, kits that they give and the different pieces is they always come with fun little um, hidden features like this um, actually came from down here where they put a nice little magnetized spot to keep it in. Um, so if you forget yours or your hex toolkit, um, you're able to come and grab one from the bottom down here. It's actually really nice to have. Next, I also added, and I, I wasn't able to take this off today, but this is for the solid state drives um, that I use the T5 cards um, to be able to mount them to this. And I prefer to use these over the SD cards or the CFast cards with this. It's just, you get way more storage and way cheaper and um, you can edit them right off the computer. It's great. Also, I have um, this, which is attaches to the top of the camera and you can do it either way. Um, it just kind of depends on how you want to um, film. Sometimes it's nice to have it up here, sometimes it's nice to have it here um, to kind of move, and also to um, rest your forehead against, sometimes with the camera if those shoots are going long. Um, it's a little bit of a cheat, I know, but sometimes when you're filming with these for 30 minutes when you're not expecting to somewhere, it's nice to have the option. All right, okay, so next, um, as far as lenses, I like to use the Lumix Micro Four Thirds um, lenses for this, especially the, um, the 12 to 35 millimeter, which is actually on the camera that's filming this tutorial right now. So instead, I um, grabbed this Canon lens I have um, and the, the Viltrox adapter for EF lenses. Um, now there's some more expensive ones like um, the Metabones adapter, but I've found that this one's great. One thing to note when using these is it actually does add a little bit more light into this. So even if you have the same aperture settings as your Micro Four Thirds lens, it tends to be a little bit brighter. So just one thought to think of um, when you're using these. Next, I've got these um, this wooden handle for the side uh, for a side grip, and I really like again th these are small. I like the wood look, and it also has an another cool little hidden feature, which is another <laughs> hex tool um, that's hidden inside it, which again is great. All right, next. Um, so there, I, I typically use these V-mount batteries instead of this, the Canon um, LPE6, um, I think that's what they're called, um, batteries, style batteries for these, um, just because these last longer, where the other ones last like 25 minutes. Um, but you have to be able to mount these because you can't just have it hanging off the camera. Now I've seen a lot of builds where people will have a rail system or something else that like juts out the back of this and comes up like this and they mount it in here. And to me, it doesn't make a lot of, I just don't like it personally because it blocks your view of the screen. And I don't necessarily want to have to get a, um, uh, an external monitor on top of this as well while I'm filming. Again, because I'm filming more run and gun shoots um, or run and gun style shoots. Um, so I like to be able to see my, um, see my LCD if possible. So I have this V-mount attachment right here that I actually mount up here on the right side of this part of the cage. Out of the way of the screen. All right. Maybe. Just attaches like that. Now you do have to um, actually, it is easier to plug in this adapter um, to it beforehand, um, just because of how everything's set up. That way you can just slide into place like this. Next, I like to use this handle here for the side to kind of wrap some of these cables around um, to, so they're, 
little bit of cable management, so they're not super in my way. Um, now they do get in the way, but it's better than if they're just hanging loose. All right. Um, so the other thing is that I like for having this top handle here and this side wooden handle here grip um, is the fact that I actually can mount a couple things to it. Some audio stuff. So I have here my Rode Wireless Filmmakers Kit um, wireless lapel and I'll mount the receiver to the top of this facing back towards me so I can make sure that the battery doesn't die and then I'm getting the audio. Um, and then I also have this grip mount for a shotgun mic um, that I attach right over here. And I, I actually, um, again, this is made by Small Rig. Um, a lot of their parts are a little expensive, probably a, a little bit overpriced in my opinion, but um, I mean, they're definitely well made. And I've tried to use some other ones for shotgun mics that have like the, the um, bungee cords or stuff like that, but I tend to lose them a lot and they break a lot easier. This thing really holds, um, and I have a Rode NTG, NTG3 mic that I use. Um, it really holds it in place with the rubber grips um, and doesn't let it bounce around um, that much. And you can just tighten it in place and it holds it nice and steady. Um, and then of course, eventually you'll plug in your XLR to your mini XLR and your 3.5 millimeter into your 3.5 millimeter here. And um, of course, add headphones to it. But that is basically how I build out my cage system for the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. And again, as you can see, you can perfectly see the screen just okay. With, even with the battery up here, um, the balance of this camera with all these other added things is pretty good. And um, typically, again, I wouldn't use this lens um, for a run and gun thing, more for like interviews or stuff like that. So I'd have a smaller, lighter lens um, on this as well. If you think there's something I missed or something I said wrong about this or even something I could do better with my build, be sure to let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear it. If you like today's content, be sure to subscribe below and hit the notification bell. Until next week, this is John Owens with Frame Voyager.